let's talk about how we titrate sedation medications. A common question I get when I'm precepting new ICU nurses is, how do I know if my patient is too sedated or not sedated enough? To which my answer is, well, we use the Richmond Agitation Sedation. Blah, blah, blah. To which my answer is, we use the Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale, also known as RAS, in order to tell how sedated someone is, as well as where we need to have that patient. I can't speak today. We use the scale to tell how sedated someone is, and we also use it as like a marker or a goal to know where our patient needs to be sedated to. First, let's go over what all of these mean here. A RAS of zero is alert and calm. That's you and I, we're chilling right now. Some of you might be plus ones, but most of us are probably zeros. More positive, your scale is the more awake, agitated, hyperactive, combative your patient is. Plus four is like you're swinging IV poles around the room and like this is a dangerous situation. The more negative the number is, the more sedated you are or the worse your neuro status is because sometimes patients can be negative fours and negative fives and not be on any sedation. Negative one is you are not fully alert, uh, but you can have sustained eye opening for 10 seconds when someone's talking to you. These are your patients that are just kind of a little drowsy, taking a little cat nap. You go in and you just say like, hey, I brought your lunch in or whatever it may be. And they instantly like open their eyes and hi, can, we can interact. Negative five, unarousable means no response to voice or physical stimulation. This is like you are out for the count. You are either way heavily sedated, paralyzed, or you have like a very, very severe brain injury, potentially brain dead. When providers order sedation, they should also be ordering a rascal. For your average Joe patients, most of the time they are a rascal of zero to negative two. These are your patients that are just lightly sedated. We don't want too heavy a sedation. They don't require too heavy of sedation. And really, you, you the less sedation is better. Better outcomes come from patients that are not as heavily sedated. But sometimes patients need to be heavily sedated because maybe they have a severe brain injury Injury. Maybe you have ARDS and you are putting them on rotaprone. They need to be paralyzed. There's a lot of reasons that your patient may be a more negative RAS score. For example, your goal may be negative four to negative five. We should constantly be making sure that we're titrating our sedation medications to keep our patients in our ordered goal. And if our ordered goal doesn't match what we think the patient should be, then we need to communicate that with the provider to get the correct RAS goal. At my hospital, we chart rascals every 30 minutes until they're within normal range. And once they're within normal range, we chart them every two hours. But of course, follow your hospital's policy. That was a lot of information on rascals. Let me know if you have any questions.